so many questions on cryptocurrency bitcoin has reached all time high so many questions i'm getting if i will make money in this bull run in the cryptocurrency market but this video that i'm making today will also be applicable for stock market or any kind of speculative gains all right so therefore 10 indications that you will make massive money from crypto or stock especially in this bull run <laughs> all right so what is the first point and before i begin please let me know if you're new to the channel and subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this video and please tell me which placements do you have and have you already made some money from the stock market or from the crypto market all right i am eager to see all of your comments i may not be able to reply but i read every single comment all right and for consultations you can find my website down in the description section number one point this is valid for any kind of wealth generation which is the connection of the lagna the first house with the 10th house which means the lagnesh is in the 10th or with the 10th lord or the 10th lord is in the lagna or the lagnesh and the 10th lord are together in the first house or the 10th house okay so any form of connection with the 10th house when uh when when the lagnesh is associated with the 10th house it is extremely powerful because the 10th house is the house of success and good decisions so when the lagnesh is connected to the 10th house it means the person has the capacity to make good decisions and in the crypto or stock market you need to know where you should invest because there are thousands and hundreds and millions of uh, crypto and stocks so where will you invest where uh, where should you put will will you uh, will you be able to pick the right stock okay you know when to enter and when to exit okay <clears throat> So if you have this, you are really fortunate. You have razor sharp focus. Okay. Number two, which is very, very, very important. And people ignore this always, which is good trains. Okay. How's your fifth house? How's your ninth house? How's your fifth Lord? How's your ninth Lord? Why? Because these two houses are the houses of uh, knowledge and education. These two houses represent light. Okay. So when you have light, what happens? You can see very far. So you can kind of... Uh, not mystically but you know okay the fundamentals of this company are very strong so the stock will grow so you can kind of visualize okay so good trines are essential without good trines you will never be able to pick the right stocks so therefore if you have good trines good trainer lords you are extremely fortunate okay number three this is again general for any kind of wealth generation okay from real estate stock crypto doesn't matter number three is maybe the most important thing to see in any horoscope when you are talking of financial gains that is if the 10th house and the 11th house are connected which means the 10th lord is in the 11th or the 11th lord is in the 10th or both of them are sitting in some artha house okay <clears throat> if they are sitting in dustana houses this has very less effect but if they are sitting in one of these two houses so if they are conjunct together in either the 10th or the 11th this is hands down the best thing to happen uh, because the 10th house is the main house of uh, name fame power position and grand wealth okay and the 11th house is three times more powerful than that because it's the gain it's the second from the 10th so the 11th house is the most powerful house when it comes to money okay but this has to have connection with the 10th house so if both these two houses are not connected in the chart then you might make some money but uh, not big money okay and if both are linked then <laughs> you make great money okay so number three is very 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 important number four connection of the eighth house with the eleventh house because if if you uh, try to think what is the stock market or crypto it is basically you are making money so you invest one lakh rupees one thousand dollars and then it becomes two thousand over a period of time or it becomes ten thousand or one million okay so what is happening is you had just put a small amount the uh, either it's a lump sum or you are doing a sip but other people are also putting money into it and because of that it is growing okay so it is basically you are 
gaining money through other people's investments okay so that is why the eighth house is important and because the eleventh house is the house of gains so if the eighth lord and the eleventh lord are connected or even a better scenario if the eighth lord and tenth lord are sitting in the eleventh or the eighth lord eleventh lord conjunct are sitting in the tenth house okay then this uh, gets quadrupled, okay? And along with this, if the Lagnesh is also involved and you have good trines also as we have discussed, okay? And your 10th and 11th are conjunct or they are in each other's houses, the more the better it is, okay? You have to understand the more the better, more the better, the more the placements you have, the more the probability, okay? Very important. And number five, this is about the fifth house because the fifth house is the house of speculation speculative investments and if the fifth lord is connected to the artha houses specifically the 10th or the 11th then what happens is you can make a lot of money from speculative investments okay and if they are not if if uh, they are bad if the fifth lord is badly placed then it is not that you don't know to speculate but you will make wrong speculations, okay? So a good fifth lord will give you good speculation and a bad fifth lord will give you bad speculation. So at the end, you lose money, okay? So therefore, the fifth house is very, very, very important. The fifth lord is very important. The entire, the entire stock crypto market is residing in four houses, the fifth, eighth, tenth, and the eleventh, okay? So if these houses have connection to each other, the fifth, eighth, tenth, eleventh, the more they have, the better it is. So 5th and 8th give you the fundamentals and the 10th and 11th give you the gains, okay? So gains, so fundamentals and gains. If both are together, you make a hell lot of money, all right? Number 6, your dasha is very, very, very important because you are currently in a particular dasha, right? If that dasha is not good, then you will not make money, okay? Which means... Your Dasha Lord should be well placed. Your Mahadasha and Antar Dasha currently, okay, as this uh, so called bull run is going on. So, for example, in your horoscope, if you have all the things that we discussed, all the five points before, but currently your Dasha is not good, so even then you will make some money because your overall chart is strong, but you will not make exponential money because you will make you might make bad decisions if your dasha is not good at the moment okay but if your dasha is also good and your uh, other placements are also valid then well supreme 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 okay so do not ignore a good mahadasha good antar dasha you always do this mistake i see every one of us does this okay number 7 how can we not discuss mercury <laughs> Mercury is the karga for finance, he's the karga for wealth, he's the karga for the 10th house, he's the karga for skill, knowledge, where should I put my money, how can I uh, change my money from large cap, mid cap, small cap, how can I do it, okay, how can I shuffle my money, Mercury is the karaka, if you have a great Mercury placed in the D9 chart, let me reiterate, not in the D1, in the D9, See, a good Mercury in the D1 can give you external communication skills, okay? But if Mercury is well placed in the D9, and if you are fortunate to have a great Mercury in the D10 also, then what it means is you, you can make a lot of gains through money, okay? It's like you uh, earn through money, okay? You get money by money, <laughs> <laughs> which is like, which is exactly the stock market, compound interest, money is making money for you, okay, so if the chart is good, you know how to make money, but if mercury is also good, you know how to make money from money, so that is why, in, in fact, this is very interesting, because once I found an article which said, what is the difference between millionaires and billionaires, the answer was millionaires know how to make money and billionaires know how to help others make money okay <clears throat> or help other millionaires make money so then you become billionaire okay so therefore if mercury is well placed in d9 and d10 fantabulous it is just a matter of time that you will be wealthy well placed means it is good as per the dignity the sign and the house okay 
नंबर एट वेरी 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 क्रुशियल वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट Sun and Mars well placed in the Dashamsha chart in the D10 chart. Why Sun and Mars? Because Sun and Mars shows your risk appetite, your ability to take risk. Okay, so if Sun and Mars, or at least if one of them, if none of them uh, are well placed, then you you fear. You are fearful inside. You cannot take risks. Okay, especially in the D10. you cannot take risks pertaining to money and career so then what will happen you will fear oh maybe you know this uh, stock will go to zero or this crypto will go to zero you know maybe this will happen that will happen uh, what what if everything collapses what if everything is in shambles okay so then you don't invest money and you lose all the money okay by keeping it in the bank <laughs> okay so a person who has a weak sun weak mars will prefer to invest in things like you know fixed deposits and they will just keep money in the bank uh, again uh, there's nothing wrong in keeping money in the bank uh, if it is for your emergency and nothing wrong in fixed deposits if again it's for emergency but the surplus corpus you should invest uh, into assets which grow like stock crypto real estate bonds and all this okay Uh, but a good uh, a bad sun mars person will will be uh, will be very apprehensive and fearful okay and if they invest uh, suddenly a stock it falls one or two percent they'll be oh my god this will ye 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 khatam ho jayega ye ye gaya doob jayega this will finish that will happen oh we draw it we draw it so <clears throat> and <clears throat> and when a stock is going high they will get fomo oh everybody is doing you know you also need to do come on come on dal do dal do dal do badhega 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 and then oh gir raha gir raha nikal do nikal do take it out take it out zero ho jayega zero ho jayega so a person with a good sun mars will put the money in the right time and exit in the right time otherwise your condition may be like uh, i mean of course this is not a good parallel but just to illustrate i am uh, giving the example of abhimanyu from the mahabharat who knew how to enter the chakra view which means you know when you should invest the money in a stock or a crypto uh, but you don't know when you should exit from it okay so number 9 this is very 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 important this is this is as potent as point number 3 but sometimes it could be even more okay but this is very important nakshatra lord of rahu connected to the 11th house see rahu is the unknown and what is the stock market stock market crypto market and all this these are unknown places unknown territories okay so if rahu his nakshatra lord is connected to the 11th house so it means that when you enter a unknown territory you are destined to have gains in your life okay so if you enter an unknown territory and you lose money so it could be that rahu's nakshatra lord is either sitting in the 6th 8th or 12th or lording one of these three houses okay but if you make gains in the unknown sector then rahu's nakshatra lord must be connected to either the 10th or maybe even the 11th so then what happens you have uh, very high confidence and using that confidence you can earn money okay in this bull run or bear market or whatever it is okay any market you can uh, earn money okay and number 10 of course last but not the least transits if large planets slow planets like saturn rahu ketu <clears throat> uh so especially saturn rahu ketu and jupiter these four planets if they are transiting in your artha houses like second sixth tenth or eleventh and among them the tenth or the eleventh is the best undoubtedly so if you have favorable transits happening in these houses especially in the tenth or eleventh and along with it if you have slow slow moving planet fast moving planets like sun uh, mars uh, or sun mercury venus so for example now the bitcoin having is there you know around this time if your sun mercury venus they are transiting the second sixth tenth or eleventh and these big planets slow planets are tran also transiting the houses 
oh boy and your dasha is supportive and your overall chart is supportive you have three four indications among the ones we discussed then you will make good money in the stock market or in this crypto bull run all right so wish you all the best and uh, my best wishes with you uh, only don't put 100% of your money into crypto it's very volatile it may go to zero as we know what happened with this uh, terra luna coin it went to zero completely in shambles okay so please if you have money then you want to put in crypto then if you are not an expert then please diversify and by that do uh, risk minimization okay i mean try to minimize your risks uh, as they say you know alpha is important but beta is also important all right so therefore wish you all the best and as usual please write down in the comments if you have already made some good gains in the bull run and what is your plan which which cryptocurrencies you are planning to buy which cryptocurrencies you are planning to sell which one do you think will arise which which one you think will uh, bite the dust all right so let's have an engaging community write everything down in your comments and your horoscope placements do not include your date time and place okay don't include your board details just give some initial uh, insights about your chart i would love to read it as i said i may not be able to reply but i will i would love to read it and i will also pin one best comment most interesting comment i will pin it in the description section in the comment section uh, let me see uh, which comment i will pin all right so thank you so much for your patience if you like this video hit the thumbs up and uh, if you're new then please subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation you can always find the link in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him everywhere <laughs> thank you